Good afternoon, everybody. How's everybody doing? Wanted to come on here and talk to you all about a scripture that has been in my mind for since yesterday. You may have noticed I didn't shoot any videos yesterday. I ended up falling asleep. It was just a, a tiresome day, but I'm back. And I wanted to talk to you all about this scripture that's found in Psalm chapter 1, verse 1 through 3. And I'm going to read it from the uh, NLT, the New Living Translation. It says, Oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with sinners or join in with scoffers. But they delight in doing everything the Lord wants. Day and night they think about his law. They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season without fail. Their leaves never wither, and in all they do, they prosper. In all they do, they prosper. They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season without fail. Their leaves never wither, and in all they do, they prosper. Isn't that amazing? And the way that that scripture translates to me is that there's times in our lives where there's temptations for us to go back to whatever we've done. Um, there's times for us to be able to, we're thinking in our mind like, you know what? Maybe what I'm doing is not effective enough. I want this thing to take off just like that. I want he said, she said to be a nationwide, worldwide movement tonight. But what God is telling us, blessed is the man. Oh, the joys of those, this, this, translation, this translation says, it says, oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with sinners. So we are being planted. God has planted something in each and every one of us. But the thing is, is that we have to wait for those roots to take root and go deep down into the soil. But in order for it to do that and gain that nourishment from the soil, it has to be in the right environment. Do you have the right people in your environment? Are people causing you to doubt what God has already told you? Are they being supportive or are they being doubtful? Like, I don't know, you know, I, I, did God really tell you that? Are you hearing from him like you think that you're hearing from him? When there's a seed of doubt, it's hard for the, the tree to sprout. When the seed is doubt, when they plant the seed in your mind, suddenly you're not even able to get yourself rooted in the right soil. You're like, well, maybe I shouldn't plant here. Maybe I should plant somewhere else. But verse three says, they are like trees planted along the riverbank, along the riverbank. So that means the roots are near the river and the river is representative of what's in it, water. The Holy Spirit is the living water. Jesus, the living water, the water that continues to nourish us, continues to give us hydration, continues to, to, to give us that, it quenches that thirst, that thirst for knowledge, that thirst for, I don't know if I'm going to do this. I don't know if I'm even built to do this. It gives us that assuredness to say, okay, Here's, take a drink, take a drink, get back to doing what you're doing. What you're doing is exactly what I want you to do. And this is God talking to you saying, this is exactly what I want you to do. You're planted in good soil. You're along the riverbank. And if you're planted along the riverbank, you're going to bear fruit each season. Each season of your life. So where are we planting ourselves, y'all? I brought the word in here just to, to, to point to truth because a lot of the times... If we're just talking, we have to be able to point it back to truth. In this scripture, I didn't know off the top of my head, so I had to bring this in. But this is to somebody who feels as though they're a little doubtful. They're like, ah, I don't know if you know I'm doing the will of God. I don't even know where I'm planted. I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing. There's people around me that's caused me to feel confused. In order for those roots to get deep and deep roots yield big trees in order for us to really achieve and, and, and ascend to the height that God wants us to be in, those roots got to get deep down into the ground. So that way, when the storms of life come and the different seasons come, you're still bearing fruit. You're still standing. You're still stable. Even though you're rocking to the left and to the right, life has got you going all over the place. You're still planted right by that riverbank. And as God said, as the word says right here, where God is mentioning this, you're going to bear fruit each season without fail, meaning that you're always going to bear fruit. So it's time for us to check our environment, make sure that we're planted in the right area. 
so that way we can bear fruit without fail.